So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what you consider when choosing your angles for footwear, photos and videos. The first thing to consider is, will I have one shoe or a pair? Sometimes you can get only one shoe as a sample. If you're shooting only one shoe, remember to always have the right one. One thing to consider when choosing your shoes is sizing. For female size, it's the 37, and for male, it's 42. The number of angles you choose to shoot is going to depend on your style guide. For instance, here I have a heel. In that case, most of the time, you're going to shoot the heel itself, but also all the other side. But when it comes to sneakers, in that case, you might don't want to see the back of the shoe, but you might want to show the sole. When you look at your style guide, make sure that you have a look at the aspect ratio that you need. So today we are actually using a pair of shoes. So I've built my presets with this tie shoots machine accordingly to my style guide. So now the machine is taking the first shot. Then it switched to the three quarter shot. Then an angle from the back of the shoe, but it's also showing the nice details that you have on the side. And now I'm seeing that there is a couple of shots that I actually should shoot individually because they are not exactly the way I want them. So let me go back to my preset. It's going back to the initial position and I will be able to do my adjustment. So in this shot, actually, I'm trying to show the heel. There is a bit of the shadow caused by the other shoe. So I might want to have them a little bit further away. So now I'm going to shoot the sequence that I need for when I got only one shoe. So now I'm getting all the shots that I need with one shoe and the one with the pair. When it comes to video, what you want to show is the best of the shoe. And you want to show off the relation between the shoe and the light while it's moving. You also want to make sure that you show every detail of the shoe. So here, what I'm trying to show is actually the inside of the shoe, because it's where I can see the nice cut and the nice orange line. So now we're shooting sneakers. So I have saved my different angle as presets, so I can reuse them whenever I'm shooting the same type of content. So I'm placing back my shoe and making sure that it's all straight and symmetric as I'm shooting the pair. In my style guide, I have left one space for a custom angle. And in that case, I want to show the logo on the sole of the shoe. So this is my last shot and then my set is complete. So now I'm going to shoot the video of this specific pair of shoes. Actually, for video, uh, my style guide is mentioning that I should shoot only one shoe. So again, I have selected the right one. As you can see, different products require different angles. And hopefully now you can see what the possibilities are.